Welcome to Hoops All Stars. I'm Coach Gloria and today we'll be talking about passing. Passing is a very important part in basketball. A good pass is being able to get the ball to your teammate. Just couldn't drop that one in. Cavs a two point advantage. Nine lead changes in this first half. Great. Irving. Oh, what a look. And it sets up the ball movement. And back to Irving. You bet. Triple team of Leonard. Open shot for Top. Couldn't. Lead pass Kyle. And he'll reel it in. Find Pascal. He'll Come on now. Danny Green against the Knicks. Siakam, now Van Vliet, Lowry swings it, Danny Green, short corner. Here's some tips, make sure to step towards your receiver. Make sure to follow through on every pass and use the momentum of your whole body. When you're passing, make sure your pass is a nice, strong pass. We will be covering four different passes today. A chest pass, bounce pass, an overhead pass, and a launch pass. First, we have a chest pass. To start off a chest pass, you want to hold the ball, forming a triangle with your index and thumb. Make sure your thumb is slightly downwards. Then you want to hold the ball right in front of your chest. When aiming, you want to aim for your receiver's chest level. Try not to aim too high or too low, making it harder for them to catch the ball. When passing, make sure to push the ball forward and follow through by flicking your wrist outwards. Next, we have a bounce pass. You start off your bounce pass the same way that you started your chest pass. Instead, you're aiming down towards the ground. Next, we have an overhead pass. You want to start by gripping the ball on both sides, bring it up to about your forehead level, and swing the ball while pushing it forward. You want to avoid bringing the ball too far back, as it's easier for the opponent to tap the ball away. When aiming, you want to aim for your receiver's chin. Try not to aim too high as the ball can easily go over their head and be harder for them to catch the ball. Lastly, we have a launch pass. A launch pass is normally used for long distances. It is a one-handed pass. A launch pass is very similar to a baseball pass. You want to start off your launch pass in your dominant hand and you want to hold it by your ear. You can use your other hand to help you aim and push the ball forward. You can practice passing with a partner. You can find a friend, your siblings, or even your parents. And if you don't have a partner, you can always find a wall. Here are some things to keep in mind. Make sure you catch with both hands. That assures that you're able to catch the ball properly. It reduces the risk of you jamming your fingers into the ball. Make sure you're always wearing running shoes. You do not want to do any of this in sandals or slippers as you may slip or fall and injure yourself. Keep this, keep this in mind. You should always stay hydrated. Remember to drink lots of water when you're practicing.
here are some stretches to do when you're done practicing. To intertwine your fingers and push forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to do the same thing but behind your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Body stretch. Next we have a cross body stretch. You want to start by bringing one arm across your body, pulling with the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now do it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Next we have a shoulder stretch. You want to bring one arm up, bend it, and pull it with the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now do it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have a wrist extension. You're going to bring one arm out, palm facing forward, and you want to pull your hand back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now do the same thing to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do the same thing but with the back of your hand facing forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also do some arm circles to loosen up. 